All right, what we got here is the Harbor Freight Tube Notcher, and we're going to take a look at it. Watched a couple little videos on YouTube and saw that they require possibly a little tweaking to get accurate center cuts of the fish mouth or the coped angle. So uh, this is the overview. We have our arbor that takes the hole saw, our clamp that holds the, the tubing in place. We have an angle finder. To, uh, to find the angles between 0, 90, and 60 degrees. And then we have a couple other little attachments. So we'll take a little closer look and see what it requires to get a little nicer cut. I have tried it and found that it does cut off center. So we're going to find out by how much. Okay. First thing we'll do is we'll get a piece of tubing. Use aluminum tubing. It's inch and a quarter in OD. And what we're going to do is we're going to mark the four uh, the four sides so that we can keep track of center lines and uh, make it easier to take some height measurements. So the way that we're going to do that is we're going to fold a piece of paper around it, fold it in half, make it a little thicker. section quarter of the pipe up for us. Okay. So now to visualize these a little better we can put little marks on them. Rewrap the pipe. Take a little sharpie, put some marks on there. sections our pipes into quarters. Alright, so now we have these identification marks around our pipe to make it easier to to take our measurements. Okay, so then to extend these marks along the pipe in a nice straight fashion in regards to its circumference, angle is one of the straightest things that's uh, made that we can use to extend that line along the pipe. It saddles the pipe nicely and it gives us a very good reference point for uh, what we're going to be doing here. Okay, I'll take the sharpie and I'll extend those lines. When you do so you want to make sure that you don't rotate or roll the pen for the sharpie or the marking instrument to, uh, to to vary your mark. You want to keep it consistent. They may be a little difficult to see, but they are visible and will make marking and uh, measuring the component a lot easier. 
So next we'll saddle this in the holder, putting it in the clamp. Right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to see if the center of our cutting arbor, right, which rides in these two brass or bronze bushings, which is a little sloppy, is approximate center line to our pipe or our tube. Right, so what I'll do is maybe measure them up to make sure that the, the tubing is in there equally. Right, so what I'll do is measure each side. So we're extremely close, good enough, and when I measure the height of our center line mark, I'm getting a sixteenth under an inch and a half. So that's going to be an inch and seven sixteenths. And then if we just eyeball the armor, we can see that it's not very close. So here's my mark that is center on the tubing inch and seven sixteenths and we're at least a good eighth or so maybe three sixteenths off maybe I'll zoom you in for that okay so if we go over to the tubing you can see hopefully you can see that that is very close to inch and seven sixteenths And if I can bring you over to the arbor, I don't know if you can see that very well, right? But visually, inch and a half is still below the center line, and inch and seven sixteenths is very close to grabbing the bottom internal edge of this adapter. So we have to shim up our bracket or our clamp in order to bring it into alignment with our arbor. So there's a couple of different ways we can do that. If we wanted to, we can use uh, washers, you know, fender washers or something to put under there uh, to the close enough thickness for the tolerances that I'm gonna be running on this. Or we can make up larger shims using shim stock or sheet steel, whichever is gonna be closest or easier. We'll see what we have on hand. Okay, so we're going to run an inch and three-eighths hole saw by metal to the inch and a quarter tubing and we'll see where the center line uh, cut lines up. So I did some finer measurements off camera and it is very 
close to one eighth off. And one eighth off isn't much, but it does equate to a really horrible looking off center cut. <clears throat> that wouldn't take much just to um, grind or sand or file that down a bit to make it match, but I'd like to get a little closer so I don't have so much finishing work to do. So what we'll do is we'll remove the, four, the three bolts that hold this um, clamp on. Okay, and what we're going to do is we're going to make up a shim or something that's about one eighth to uh, shim that up. And hopefully that will bring us into a better alignment for our coping angle. All right. So we made up a shim. <clears throat> Now, typically, if I was doing this for a job and I was in a rush, I just put washers or something under there. But um, just because I had lots of time and I feel like this will adjust better without floating around three independent washers, that will give this a go. those holes just a tad. Installing it, you want to make sure that your <coughs> your attachment set to ninety. Okay, it's very close. Button that up. So we'll leave this cut on the one end so that we can use it as a reference. And I still have the lines going through to the other side, so we'll make sure that they line up appropriately so that we can compare the two coped ends.
so it looks good. The old DeWalt back on there. I have to move you guys. I think that's going to shake you around too much. Hopefully that's still a good view. We'll uh, engage the cut now. And that's looking very close to perfect. Right? There's a little play in the arbor and some other factors that I'll kind of look into and I'll see if we can't, uh, if it is just uh, the play as it gets out there, it's got maybe a good, I don't know, 60 thou, I would think, or something like that play. But uh, already it's looking a lot better than the previous one, which was way off. And then when this has to be welded and prepped, you know, if you're only doing one and you're in a rush out of the box, it's all right, you know. For what I paid for it, I wouldn't complain. But with a quick fix with some washers, if uh, you're in a rush, or if you have them, and then if not, you can shim it with almost anything, right? A piece of steel, aluminum, even a piece of uh, substrate like hard plastic or stuff like that. Get a lot better result.